and welcome. The topic of this video is installing Qtile and I've just uh, themed and tweaked Mate and that's why we're working on this SSD. So with the Super F7, if VirtualBox is installed, you have your VirtualBox to clone a template. Do look at the videos I've made about um, Alex D. Let's install that one. About VirtualBox, there is a complete tutorial on alkalinx.com where it's important to actually set the correct, um, for instance, graphics controller, VBOX, VGA, but also how much video memory should I use, etc. etc. Now, Alkalinx D is um, Ctrl Alt V. That was a bad idea. Lots of things open then. Ctrl Alt G is probably better. No, thank you very much. And we go to HTTPS, double point, no, arcolinux.info. We're going to get our Arcolinux D ISO. So this is the whole way. We are getting the ones that are on CTORS because seat host, since that one is um, already available, it's not in here. The time is April the 9th, this is edition of March. So basically I delete this ISO map at the end of the URL. I go to the Arc Linux auditing group and here is what we're going to release in um, April in a few days. So this is still for the beta testers. They can test it out right now. And if anything is reported as bad, we draw everything back in and we'll wait. But um, everything sounds good, and we're going to get Arcalix D version 19.04. And the speed is awesome. It's about, can we see it? No, we can't see it in these. No, I guess not. But it's almost there, as you see. And we are done. So you need to have an ISO, something to put in your optical drive here. So choose your disk image and we're going to do the downloads, Arc Linux D, boot it up, Control V, full screen, and then you are booting up in VirtualBox or on the SSD. It's the same procedure, of course. But Arc Linux D is meant for the people who say, I'll start with a almost bare ISO, it's not a bare ISO, but it's an almost bare ISO, where you don't get Firefox, don't get Google Chrome, don't, don't get any of these applications. So you need to check out um, if you're ready for this, because this is uh, more scripting, it's a black screen, but it's uh, an adventure, never the same. It's always interesting to take these steps because you are then in control what you put on your machine. So you choose your keyboards, maybe also back there, your uh, system locale, so you can change these elements here and here as well. And the time zone is normally correct, but if not, click on the button where it's supposed to be. The country where it's supposed to be, by the way, there's also a drop down here. So you always can select it that way. I need my keyboard, my Belgian keyboard Azerti. You choose yours. Starting from this release of Calamares, we have the choice to have swap or no swap, a small swap or a bigger swap, right? All depends on your um, amount of RAM, the size of your hard disk slash SSD, but with 16 gigabytes of RAM, I don't use no swap. So I'm, I have no swap, not on VirtualBox, not on SSD. All right, this set, who am I? I'm Eric, hi. This is going to be an Arcalix D installation. And we are going ahead with the installation. So, Arcalix D, let's, do for, let's go for a control F. And then we can talk about Arc Linux. Do take a look about at this uh, login here, at this page, I mean, Arc Linux editions, this is the page. 
if you have the menu somewhere and you see Alcoholics Hello, this is the page you are sent to. This is your need to know uh, information. So either you go for the Alcoholics ISO, which installs lots of hardware, lots of uh, software, lots of icons and themes and so on. Let's call it the full ISO, complete ISO with three desktops, Openbox, XFC, i3. Normally, you're, if you're a beginner in Linux, you can stay in there for, let's say, a year or two maybe. And at some point you say, okay, I'm getting, um, getting to know Arch Linux and Arch Linux and all the commands and how to maintain it and how to update it. I'm getting it. Then you can you can move away from the Arch Linux ISO and start maybe with an Arch Linux D ISO or an Arch Linux B. I mean, it's or either. I mean, it does not have to be one or the other. You, you choose between these two lines of, of um, schooling, let's say, of, of learning. So Arch Linux D is the one that puts you in a black screen. So very much as Arch Linux starts, a black screen. And then you start downloading scripts and running scripts and deciding what not to run. And then changing the scripts afterwards. To, uh, afterwards you say, I don't want to have Firefox. Okay, delete the line with hi Firefox. It will not be installed and so on. This is a long installation, Arcanix D is a long installation because it's going to run, download, download, uh, install and go over the complete list of all the applications. Arcanix B is an ISO, is a file, a text file where you say I want to have Firefox or you don't want to have Firefox. Then you build an ISO and with this thing here as well, we are just burning an ISO, a complete image, extracting that on an, an SSD. So that is much faster, as simple as that. Making an ISO and bur burning then, or for burning it and then installing it, is going to be always easier, faster than the, the other one, the other option with Arcanix D. But with Arcanix D, then you know in very small detail which package is installed and you decide whether you want it or not. So I got the ISO out of the virtual box so we see the normal boot up. This is the normal boot up in Arcanix D. And this is what I mean with this is the arch-like look. When you install an arch in phase five, you can go for that phase as well. You see something more, more or less the same, similar, right? Uh, it's not the same, but it's um, it's black anyway, right? And this is your terminal, your TTY actually, and in here you just start typing, am I up to date? Am I up to date? Let's have a look. Am I up to date? All right, these things must come in. Enter. Yes. Let's install those. I see VirtualBox guest. So I'm guessing Linux is somewhere. Yeah, second line from, from the end. Linux 507 is there. So basically we need to reboot. So the new kernel can kick in. And if that's done, this is an updating. So Arch and Arco and PKSYUA is going to check if the AUR is there to, is there, if there is a package to update from the AUR. All right, PKSYUA. And there is just one, yay bin, not just any. It's the application we're using next to Trizen to install anything concerning from Arch user repository. So that's good as well. And one of the last things I explain on any of the Arch Linux installations is the fact that we have an alias. It's either mirror or it is mirrors, mirror A, mirror D. So there are a few aliases to fetch you the fastest Arch Linux servers, not Arco, Arch Linux servers. So if you do an update that you get this, the fastest downloads and when you're living in China or we're living in America, you get the, the best servers around. That's it, I guess. Um, the rest of the video is going to be an installation of Qtile, but this is a general part where you just install Arch Linux D. Well, let's, let's um, cut it in two pieces. 
So this is the general installation for any um, desktop that you choose afterwards. And the, the selection, well, the selection is going to be here, Article Linux D, ISO, Article Linux D dot com, right? So either you say, I'm gonna install XFCE, I'm gonna install OpenBox or i3. That's what we call phase two. And phase three is everything else. Phase three is not XFC, not OpenBox, not i3. So any desktop that's not on the big ISO. And we need to have something in here. Qtile needs to be added. And later on, we're gonna install phase five as well. In Arch Linux, we can install Qtile because basically we are very familiar. Arch Linux and Arch Linux are, uh, well, brothers or sisters or anything like that. Very close indeed. So that's it for me. We've installed um, VirtualBox uh, Arch Linux D. Everything is up to date. I'm gonna reboot because there was this Linux kernel. And then we're going to install Qtile in the next video.